Hola! Good morning, everyone! Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time here with me today. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Ford Lizard, and I have been recently inspired um, by washi tape and um, using washi tape in kind of unconventional, non-traditional ways. Um, so I thought I'd share like my recent um, techniques that I've been using in my planner with washi tape in case you are um, looking for some inspiration to, and and uh, I'm trying to use up your washi tape. So if you're interested in seeing how I use washi tape in some kind of unconventional ways, just keep on watching. So if you're a crafter and a planner and a paper crafter, um, you probably have a bunch of washi tape. I definitely have tons of washi tape. I love washi tape. They're so fun. I love them so much. And I do try to get through them. Um, it's so hard to finish a washi tape. And uh, usually I feel like I kind of use them pretty traditionally, but I've been trying to figure out ways um, to use them a little bit more uh, non-traditionally because I want to just, you know, use up my washi tape and also just um, just have fun with it. So washi tape, I think, is traditionally used in like a straight line. So this is an example in my planner where I'm using um, washi tape in how it's like traditionally used. I feel like a lot of people I see use washi tape, use it kind of in this like straight line type of situation. And you can change that up a little bit here and there. Like for example, I kind of overlapped two different washi tapes to kind of give me like this mosaic washi tape. Um, so that's an option of how to use washi tape a little bit more than just laying down a straight line of one washi tape. So this is an example of like really, really traditionally used washi tape. I'm using this washi tape. It's just a straight line, nothing too crazy there. Same with up here. This is a little piece of washi tape there. So this is, I would say, really traditional use of washi tape. This is maybe like spicing it up a little bit. You can layer two different washi tapes kind of together and create this like, um, I guess, mixed or... Um, fused washi tape, a really, really simple trick to use washi tape, you know, in a different way. And you can even, you, uh, like, interspace this a little bit more. So you could have, um, you could have, like, only put, like, an inch of this one and then an inch of another one and an inch of this one and an inch of another one. So that way you can kind of create this, like, mosaic washi tape. That's an option. Um, Let's see, another way that I like using washi tape is as borders. So in this spread, I have um, this larger sticker here and I wanted to kind of anchor that sticker a little bit more into the spread. And so I created this little frame and that's another way of using washi tape unconventionally or just a little bit more, a little bit differently is that you can use it as like a frame to another sticker, a frame to a box, like uh, like a plain box, like one of these or that, that one up there, like you can use washi tape as frames and uh, to frame other stickers or full boxes or what have you. And um, an example of using it as a frame as well, you can also um, use washi tape around like the borders of your spread. So here I used, um, I use washi tape as a frame around the borders and I think it gives it like a fun look, um, definitely something you can do. And uh, you can either opt to frame like each section, like how I did here where there's two full boxes, or you can leave these middle sections off so that it gives more of like a larger frame appearance, if that makes sense. You could also use washi tape as a frame to like frame the entire page, which is one of my favorite looks. So this is an example of I used washi tape on the outside of the pages, but not in the inside. And it gives it a nice appearance, I feel. I think it looks cute like that. So that's an example of using washi tape as a frame for the entire page, but you could also kind of give it uh, scale that down to just frame the actual boxes like so. And then the last washi tape um, tip that I would give is that 
uh, it's fun to also use it kind of in uh, to make like uh, patterns so in this case I used a washi tape going vertically up and down the page and then I intersected uh, a couple of washi um, like to that perpendicular to that you know vertical washi tape and I feel like it's a way to create a pattern on the page you could even do triangles you could do like a series of vertical bars um yeah and just create like a background pattern that you can layer stickers over so you know if I wanted to I could maybe even do like a couple more vertical washi tape but in this case it was really simple I just did um, two perpendicular washi tapes to create this kind of like border that I could then layer on top of. And then the last um, way that I use washi tape kind of unconventionally is to layer it upon itself in like differing pieces or different lengths if that makes sense. So this is an example where I used one washi tape. I think I have it somewhere around here. Maybe I don't. Mm, oh yeah, I can't find it. Oh no, here it is. I used this washi tape and I had the idea of laying down like a stretch of it and then laying down on top of that um, smaller and smaller stretches of that washi tape to kind of give like a corner decoration but also like give it a little bit of a staircase appearance and then i could go ahead and layer stickers on top of that to kind of give like a like a background for other stickers to fit on so that's what i did here and i also played around with doing different geometric shapes and using them as like background wallpaper basically using them as wallpaper and so you can you know make it kind of funky shaped or you could even go ahead and give yourself more of a standard rectangular shape so I played around with all types of different shapes here um, but I could definitely see myself um, using this a little bit more cleanly like right now all of the edges are really rough because I just felt like doing that but I could, if you would, if you want, you could definitely layer it to fill a box and then cut really cleanly so that you end up having um, just like um, like a really clean box background that you can even layer other stickers on to provide a little frame if that makes sense. So that is one way that you could, uh, oh that's another way you could use washi tape kind of unconventionally. I call this the wallpaper method because um, it, it's like creating wallpaper for your planner. I think it's really fun and it's a way to use up your washi and it just looks really cute in my opinion. And yeah, those are all my ideas for a washi tape. I had a lot of fun putting this video together. I've been kind of just brainstorming ways on how to use washi tape. And it was all inspired by, let me show you <laughs> this uh, art notebook. This is my art notebook where I like sketch and stuff. And I was playing around with using washi tape as like borders for some of my sketches and um, uh, paintings and just things that I've worked on in other notebooks and on you know planner paper even and I was using washi tape as like borders and I thought it was fun and I was inspired by like using washi tape as frames and then I got really chaotic with my washi tape and I did this kind of like textural um, non linear frame around this little drawing that I did a while ago and I really loved how it turned out. I love how it looks textured. I love like the creases and everything. Um, you know, I'm an artist. I, I love like texture a lot in, in art and I was really inspired by what I did here with like how, how the art or how the washi tape is so textured and so like, I don't know, it just gives it a nice little frame. It's not as, you know, like stark as like a rectangular frame like this so it was really inspired by washi tape <laughs> when I was messing around with it in here in my art notebook and I did a similar thing here with this one I did that same kind of like textury warped frame that I think looks really cool and um, yeah I was really inspired by that and so I just got into my head to play around with um 
with washi tape and I highly recommend if you don't have an art notebook like this which is just like plain pages um, I highly recommend to pick one up and use it as a place to experiment with mixed media which is basically what planning is it's mixed media you're using pen ink stamps uh, stickers washi it's mixed media it's collage and so um, there's lots of techniques in collage that um, you know out there it's there's there's a lot you can do with collage and so it's it's definitely it's fun to have like a place that's not like you know high stakes like your actual planner to play around with um, your, your your art materials and get a sense of what works what doesn't what you like and then translate that over to your actual planner so yeah i had a lot of fun with washi tape now i'm just going through my art notebook <laughs> uh, yeah oh uh bonus do you want to see when i was actually like bullet journaling um planner spreads i used to just use this art notebook for my planner and i would um use happy planners and i was doing the vertical format and i would construct each one of these um from like blank pages every single week that got to be too much though so i stopped doing that but yeah i'll give you a little sneak peek down memory lane i love this Ugh, i had a lot of fun putting this together i kind of want to go back to um to doing this it was so much fun but uh it, it was a lot of work look valentine's day yeah i had a lot of fun oh my god look at this one <gasps> Look at that, so pretty, oh my goodness, love it. January, ugh, oh, amazing, ugh, oh, I love this. Anyways, um, so that's why I was playing around with washi tape and I, you know, really hit upon this idea of using washi tape as frames and wallpaper in your planner. Um, and just using it in unconventional ways. So if you have any tips or advice on how to use washi tape in new and different ways, definitely let us know in the comments down below. We would really appreciate that. And I'll see you in my next video. Um, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay creative, and happy planning. Bye!